In this video, I want to show you how to do two things. The first is to change the compression level of JPEGs in WordPress. And the other is to create your own plugin to do that. These may sound a little bit daunting, but they're really not. So let's get started. First, a little bit about JPEG compression. I have a photo here of a nice wood desktop and the file extension is .jpg. And the cool thing about JPEGs is that you can reduce the file size of the image by reducing the quality of the image. But JPEGs are cool enough that you can reduce the quality quite a bit without visually noticing. Let me show you. This is an online tool called Optimizilla. And you can see right here, my image by default is 4.2 megabytes. So I'm going to drag this over here. And if I reduce the quality by only 10% down to 90, then it goes from four megabytes to 890 kilobytes, 78% smaller. And if we zoom in, you can just barely tell the difference. So if I, you can usually tell better on sharper edges. So if I reduce this down to 50, it still looks pretty decent. And we've got a 92% difference in file size. That's tremendous. Now you don't want to do this by hand every time, although you may later, I'll show you why. But something that's important to know is that when you upload an image to WordPress, it automatically sets it to 82. Now this is only for JPEGs, of course. So that's quite a substantial change right there. And you can see visually, there are some differences around the edges here. Now, the reason I want to show you how to turn this off in WordPress is that when you upload images to BigCommerce, BigCommerce also compresses them. And so you end up with double compression and that can make it so that they don't look so great. And it's easiest to turn it off in WordPress and go with the compression that BigCommerce sends. So let's take a look at how to do that. And this is a little bit where we get into making a new plugin. I just Googled how to disable image compression in WordPress and I found this great article. And right here is some code that is good code, but it says to put it in your themes functions.php file. And that's not a good idea. That ties this code to your theme, not to your site in general. So if you ever changed your theme, you would lose this code. Instead, I'm going to show you how to make a plugin. So we're going to go to our website real quick. We're going to go to plugins, add new, and search for Pluginception, which is a plugin for making plugins. We'll install and activate. And now there's a new item under plugins called create new plugin. We'll click that. The only thing required in this whole form is the name. And we're going to give it this name. I usually give it a version number and my name also, but you can leave all the others blank. Create a blank plugin and activate it. And that's it. We have a plugin now and it's running. There's nothing in it, so it's not doing anything, but it exists. So let's go back to this tutorial and this code that they said we should put in functions. Instead, we're going to put into our shiny new plugin. And what this is doing is setting the JPEG quality filter to 100 instead of 82 or 50 or whatever you want. And doing the same in the WordPress editor. So now we simply update file. So if we go back to plugins, you can see it's right here. Now I'm going to deactivate it real quick. So it's not running. And we're going to go to our media library and I'm going to upload this file right here. And on the right here is my file system showing my WordPress. 
So these images were all created when I uploaded that file. And let's take a look at uh, this, this one, 2048 by 1280, and it is 522K. So now I'm going to turn my plugin back on. and upload the same image again. It'll make a second set, and it adds dash one to all of them. So there's our 2048 image, and here's the first one. So when we have WordPress compression turned on, it gets us down to 522K, which is great. When we don't, it sets us to two megabytes. So you can see that our code is working because this one did not get compressed. It's just resized. The originals, of course, don't get anything because they are the originals. They're intended to be pristine. And so when we look at compression levels, we're looking at these resized ones. So that's it. Now we have WordPress not compressing images. Now you may still want your images compressed that you upload by hand, like I did for your blog or whatever. And you can use Photoshop or the GIMP or an online tool like OptiMozilla. But when you're importing hundreds or perhaps thousands of images with BigCommerce or WordPress, then you're relying on the BigCommerce image compression.